Hey there, it's Walt. So I wanna share with you today how CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, relates to platform growth, business growth, personal growth. It has applications across a broad swath of life. So Ann and I recently updated, recertified our wilderness first responder. Um, and we do that um, for a number of reasons. We spend a lot of time, as many of you know, in remote places in the world where there isn't a whole lot of medical care. And so we want to be able to provide that care to one another as well as, well as to other people we might come across. And so every three years we do this recertification program and it's fascinating and we enjoy it. And as part of the a certification program we do this thing called CPR uh, and you can get that and you ought to have it um, everybody ought to have CPR training uh, but we recertify that every time we recertify our wilderness first responder what's interesting to us is that every time we've recertified it over the course of the years the training gets easier and easier and easier. That is, there are less steps, there are less nuances. It's really pretty straightforward the way they teach CPR right now. They've taken a lot of the confusion about what to do and when to do it and how to do it out of the equation. And they've done that because they want to make it easy to do. See, what's often happened over the course of years, somebody comes to somebody who needs CPR and, and the person goes, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And they do, and they do nothing. And they stand there frozen. And what the trainers say is that it's better to do something than to do nothing. And so by taking out all of the hurdles and the barriers to doing CPR, it encourages people just to get into action and to do the very thing that will save someone's life. And so this idea of it's better to do something than to do nothing is applicable in a lot of areas of our life. So many times when we enter into something, whether it be a book project or a marketing project or a program or something in our careers or even many things in our personal lives, we freeze because we're like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. There's so many possibilities of what to do. And so we do nothing and time goes by. And what's true, you know, this is true in book writing. If you write a page a day over the course of a year, you've got a lot of pages to edit. I mean, that's a book. If you do just like a blog a week, you could write a book. If you do just a little bit of marketing, you can create an amazing business empire as long as you're consistent, as long as you're doing something. When we run long races or like we're about to do, run the Grand Canyon, you run it just one step at a time. You don't run the whole thing at once. If you try to take everything on, it's way too much. And so this idea of it's better to do something rather than just to stand on the sidelines frozen is an idea that I would love to invite you to think about and just to be in action. Small steps over time are what lead to the incredible and magnificent results. So don't stand on the sidelines. Show up every day and do something. Make it a great rest of the day, great rest of the week. Bye for now.